Well, that means to my chair, and a deck profile. This time, as you can plainly see, he's doing a break ride on um, Nick Jonas. If in a zero, because they made him the sub clan. Because they're not ideas, I think. My starting Vanguard, I run Robin Knight. We got two Legion, and there's times where Robin Knight does commit clutch when you're stuck on Legion and they start to unlock. So you can come off one, put the soul unlock, a front and back one unit. So it helps you know stall a little more until you get your shit going again. If you want, you can run uh, some Tower of Unicorn. But after, after some, te some testing, I find him to be more clutch at times. So, preferences really. Uh, this is Robin here, if in a zero to break ride, old school classic, char deck bullshit. I had to pick up four all over again. What a pain he has that was. Billy's pretty goddamn simple. When you break ride, lock a front and back on unit. Simple. And when you attack, get 3k. For boosting, no, just, just for attacking. So, the old school break ride that they give support to and made the sub clan. In my opinion, I don't know why they did that. They could have easily made. I don't know, anything else more important? But eh, that's them, them the breaks. You run that four because you actually do want to see them. His break is not bad, and you can be annoying with him. So I recommend four. My backup boss, he's really he's literally a backup boss. I he's like Dark Zodiac. He's the best league we got. I personally was uh, running, uh, thinking of running. Uh, Bet I'm there too. I wasn't on Bandmaster because um, all I can do with this build currently is grind the game out. But Bandmaster is also going to be a little bit more offensive, but the only problem is you get no real power from doing this build. But I run Zodiac over him because Zodiac can be way more devastating by completely shutting them out. It's really simple. One new Legion, one pump chump, Cannabis 1, Omega Lock. Everything. So things that are locked stay Omega Lock, which can help and can be annoying. Second ability, active ability, very important. Hits whatever is back of circle. Grade 3 or grade 2 is mate. To lock a front and back of unit. So he helps his own ability. And you're gonna get like three of them in your hand and you have to ride one, you can pitch one to lock two. They play that grade 2 game, so yeah, it can help. So Dark Zodiac, in a sense, can help drive the game out and makes you trying to build resources back all over again. So really good card. He's, he's meant for stalling, honestly. Or not four because you want to see him. On your big ride, instantly locked him. Next up, the grade twos. I run three photons. I think three is fine, four too much because why call him if you, it might be dead in your hand. So he's there for, you know, more locking. More not really that. You can, you can, even if you ride him, you still blast him with the stride. Yeah, but so I don't you want, can always legion it back. Yeah, but I don't, you know, why if you run four and you draw all of them at the same time, with resources. I want to, you know, call him for that reason. Like, oh, I can't lock you. I want to waste the card. Keep my hand for a little bit longer until I lock something. At least one, at least one thing. Next up. Ah, this, this bastard that no one runs. I can't pronounce his name. I'll try. Chain Battle Star Vader. Techie You want to try to pronounce his name? Technetium. Chain Battle Star Vader. Technetium. He's a really interesting card. He came out in goddamn G G3. Pretty, re pretty recently. No resin because it's kind of weird, but I like him. You got a Star Vader Vanguard, you can pitch one card from your hand. He gets 5k and an ability. If he hits Soul Charge, one off 5th for damage. A good card. Guys, behind a 7k booster, 21k call. I saw a problem of, I, don't, I can't hit big numbers. So he, he's gonna, he becomes a pressure unit, which is really good. And the best part is, you can use him turn 2 if you need to. Jaw Trigger, yeah, let me stop being a Oh, wow. Yeah. Instinct. Mixed columns really early. And if you need a soul, build soul. So I, I like to, I actually do like him. I won't play running four, but I think three is fine. He's actually a really good tech choice. And he helps build soul for your stride, that soul blast one. And on flip damage. On flip damage. God, finally, someone's on flip damage. I run two Connie Makers. Because I really don't use her as much as I thought I would. She's just there to fit a grade one, which I don't really have much good reruns. Are you going to play more of her in Chaos Breaker? Chaos Breaker, I'm playing three. Because once again, I don't really need her as much. Because remember, you're getting started. Yeah. So you, really need, you don't really need her as much. I run her two because Counter Blast reasons. And three mates, because Legion. I hate the, the mate. His ability's not bad. And I, use, I actually use it when I'm desperate. When I hit, so plus one, whatever's in the to go, that time, top five cards you deck, add to your hand. It can come in clutch. Get that extra great through the try. Plus, deck thinning is deck money. Yeah. Uh, four on the perfect guard because you're kind of blast and if you're playing it right, the whole board should be locked, so don't worry too much. 
Two bolt lines. Bolt line. Omega lock. Yeah, this, this whole point is deck. If he hits Booth, I'll keep that unit locked for next turn. Three turn down dragons. Nice. Yeah, turn down for what? The ability is pretty damn fun because you run Brave Drive. If there's two or more lock units, he gets plus 10 more K shield. So 15 K shield. For one card? For one card. 26. Ah, intercept. <laughs> That's literally all I'm gonna do. That's literally all I'm gonna do. He's there for him, desperate as fuck. And he can come in handy. I was running in two, but then I realized he's so much fun that I bump up to three. I'm running these big tattoos that you should be running. And plus, Brick Rod locks two, he locks two, the Stride locks two. Come on now. Big Crunch locks two. You gotta have two. He's never gonna be dead. True. Unless you're, you're Great Lock. I mean, at that point in time, you're gonna lose anyway. Three Stride neighbors, because Stride is a thing. And two of the new guy. I was running three, but then I realized. I don't want if it's zero all the goddamn time. And I'm sick of losing a unit. Because it's, it's literally, if you got a great three or greater, which is kind of weird, um, Star Vader Vanguard, and they got a lock card, you could tie him during, during your first main phase, obviously, and ride over, um, no, during, during your end phase, obviously, you ride over uh, infinite zero. That's rested. So, if you're a real dickwad, you could, after you're done doing your end phase, you run, you run stride and shit. <laughs> Right over again, lock two more cards. That's just a, that's fun, they'll never, they'll never have a board. That's always never, I was running him at three to four, then I realized, I don't really use him as much as I thought I would. He's just there taking up my space. So I take one for turn on drag, which is more funny. And if you look death, call him the Kali Maker. Next up, the trick line was the hard thing for me, honestly. This crit, this douchebag, I don't know, seven crits. But when the new crit comes out, you're changing the crit. You're changing the crit. The new crit's really good. These guys, uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Seven crits. I run five draws to help gain some hand advantage. I try to hard to get hand advantage. My hands are ass. And four heals because healing is the thing. Generate this fight. Seven to seven crits, five draws. I think the ratio works for me because it helps me defensive and offensive at the same time. It's good some kind of hand advantage. I run two to new stride because honestly, you don't use it as much. Yeah. Billy's not bad, first time stride. How much one, solo last one, um, lock a front and back door unit, and feel four more damage with that point by right, right hand. Uh, you could have mega lock those units you So he's there for early turn lock. It's better than, it's better than judgment. Yeah. He locks one, he locks two, puts on hit. I'm gonna count this one, so one lock two units. Oh yeah, you gotta have an infinite heart. Very important. And the um, Messiah, I run because at late in the game, I'm, I'm just grinding away and I'm realizing, oh look, next turn he's gonna lock, lock any goddamn way. Swing with a crit. Try to get some kind of pressure on this. I'm gonna end the unit. Only that guy would have, you know, hit a crit and I could potentially win the game. Or the mirror match. And for the mirror match, if I ever do run into that. And for big crunch, because your theme here is to mega lock everything. So yeah, big crunch comes. Just big crunch. So that's our deck profile. You like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Signing out.